of uh, the C sharp uh, basics and you know a complete project you know, live. So uh, it was you know I think it was last week. So complete uh, you know entire coding walkthrough. I code each and every line in, and I explain what what are the things that you have to do. So but I will do another live for uh, SQL. So if you are uh, if you haven't watched that Anita, you can please watch that after this live. So I have covered you know everything in live. So C sharp and uh, you know the entire project that you will be building. So any simple e-commerce project. So you just type whatever you want in the uh, command line, and uh, after you exit out of the shop, you will be given the bill. And what is the what are the uh, uh, what are the product that you have bought and the total cost. So that is a simple project that I have done. So make sure that you watch that. But SQL, I will be doing it on Monday or Tuesday. Uh, you know. Depending upon the time, so I will do that. Anyway, thank you, sir. Today, it is so great, man. So thanks a lot. So keep supporting. So I will do a lot of live. So I I really don't see why people don't do live. So it is pretty easy and uh, it is it is like interacting with people, right? So they just put out the video and they say go. So I have seen a lot of people don't even you know reply to the comments. So I do reply to all the comments. So if you can see, you no know, most questions you know you have asked right. So right now, so everything has been answered you know previously on the comments. So there are like 300 to 400 comments. Uh, I am trying to you know take some screenshot of it and make a video of it so that you can easily get through, get through all the uh, you know questions that people have had. So. I will make sure that I will do that so you can just uh, have a good understanding on what are the questions that people had in their mind. So there are like pretty weird questions that even people had. So I'll do really post that so that you will have a better understanding of people what people actually think after getting into intern. So yeah, please make a video on Java. So I really don't uh, know code in Java. I just know there's some basics of uh, Java. So I really work on uh, Python and Django and uh, no C sharp uh, I learned at uh, Cognizant so C sharp and dot net so C sharp I had the basics uh, since I am into game development so I had some basics of C sharp so yeah uh, I won't do anything in Java though uh, C sharp uh, I think already it is done so I'll make sure that I will cut that into chunks so that you will get a better understanding of uh, each and every part like the starting uh, print statement and other things and then we will go with uh, print statement once that is done you will go with loops conditionals and uh, and we will start with uh, uh, methods and how do you declare and how do you call it and uh, and then we will go with classes and how do you create objects using constructor and uh, another uh, inheritance and other concepts we will definitely cover you know those things yeah guys so uh, So uh, let me quickly show you some questions if you want. So I did have few questions uh, covered already on uh, the C sharp the uh, video that I have done. So let me put it in the comment. You have the question so that uh, you are able to grasp. So even I'm not sure what were the questions. So. So any further question guys, I think uh, it is already time. So we are, we are already like uh, one hour, uh, no, we are past one hour. So what are the domains in CTS Chennai branch? So will we be mostly testing or will also have? So, uh, so uh, uh, coming to the domains on Chennai branch. So it depends, it is not like uh, what domains on Chennai branch. So see, uh, people from Chennai, right? So, uh, cognizant uh, every company or any company you take, uh, they want people from local areas. So, if I am running a company, I would, you know, uh, I have a good chance of hiring people from uh, Bangalore. Okay. So, if you are uh, from Bangalore, I would really, you know, hire people from Bangalore. So, it depends on the skill set of people that uh, the uh, site or the branch works on. So. Mostly, I, I have seen people, you know, uh, talking about, uh, you know, machine learning and other do domains come to Bangalore and Pune. 
so i on chennai it is the main branch of cts in india so you have all the domains on all the branches okay the number of uh, domain the projects are the ones that differs okay so it de really depends on what kind of project that you are put in so for a project you need a lot of people okay they, you need people for testing you need people for development you need people for devops you need uh, you know people to maintain servers you need database so people who need to administer databases and uh, you know you need people to do some analysis you need to have some data analytics people who need to work on different parts of the projects so for a single project you know there are you know different teams working on that okay so hope i make sense so you have lot of people put in a single project so you will have a lot of roles you can learn from them but domains or uh, as a starting you are just starting off right so make sure that whatever the domain you are put in make sure that you work on that and if you want to switch so i, I am working on dotnet and i really want to switch to you know something in python or django so if there is a opening in my project or other different projects i can really you know you know swap so i can go uh, you know to the project and work so you will have to clear some interviews uh, for doing the same so after even getting into cognizant you will have some interviews to clear so that you can get into good project so you can definitely do the you know switching part it's a cognizant so development testing in you know it, it is everywhere so in, on every single project you have development and testing team and you know devops as i mentioned you no know, other all other teams will be there so you need all the, all the skills to make a project work anchman bro will my internship location be so it depends so uh, i got my internship location as paimbatur and i uh, my full time is on bangalore so you might you know get your preferred locations so or my preferred location was bangalore and pune so uh, since my college was uh, near to Uh, the south zone or near to kwemtu so i was i'm not sure you know that is the uh, you know scenario that happened or any other you know thing caused so, but, but you know all my uh, people have been mapped to kwemtu so it since it was offline you know we went to their offices and we worked uh, as someone asked 9 to 6 you have to sit in a uh, front of a computer and you have to work so since it is virtual now you might you know uh, expect a different location so it it will be mostly your preferred location for full time so 95% of the time you will get your preferred locations so i hope that answered the question so let me quickly uh, put the question so let me quickly get into hacker right so you will have a lot of questions on hacker rank which you can solve so i'll share the link so that you can practice after that so this is my linkedin profile if you want to have a look please do have a look and uh, don't endorse you can do that don't leave uh, a recommendation you can definitely do that so once you get to uh, yeah sequel so i'm sharing the link so you can practice with that okay so we can practice with the hacker rank link so uh, i'll pin it at the top if you want uh, the hacker rank link is uh, for sql so you can practice that and you can practice other different languages even on hacker rank so there are ton of different languages that you can practice on so make sure that uh, you at least learn the basics of c sharp so i don't think they have something for c sharp if i'm not wrong i didn't see anything for chicha they have python they have java uh, they have even for ruby uh, but they don't have anything for chicha specifically but what you can do is you can take up any any algorithm or any challenge and you can start doing it in chicha okay so let me quickly go into python try again 
okay so you you don't have anything for c sharp but you can try functional programming okay so you have a practice session for that on hacker rank you can definitely check that out so that will really help you a lot in uh, building the you know building the uh, base of your uh, project so let me share you the github link where we have the c sharp code So this is my repo where I post uh, the assimilation test, no questions and other things. So please do use this GitHub repo. Uh, if you're not familiar with GitHub, so you have to. Uh, GitHub is like a place where you dump all your uh, code, where you can share uh, you know, different things. So make sure you visit this thing so that you will get an idea of how things are. Got an email that my internship in 38. Internship for six months or it. Okay. So for uh, the internship, so you might uh, you know see that uh, you know in the same letter whichever you have got. So it, it is like it is not mandatory that you have you can you will be in six months okay so it depends so once you clear in the first attempt the final project you will be uh, you you will just complete it in four months so if you don't clear the you know in the first attempt you might be trained for 10 to 15 days and then you have to take up another uh, you know project and you have to do so uh, you know that 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 is the where the six months come in so it won't be for six months uh, you know it's really difficult for them if it is for six months it is really difficult yeah 